In this tutorial video, we're going to see how to use the J button object in Java. Now, J button is a component which lets you display a clickable button. So it's imported from the Swing framework, as you can see here. To use a J button object, you have to instantiate an object of type J button, in this case named button, using the J button constructor imported from the class here. And on that button, in this case, we want to display uh, a message saying OK. So once you've instantiated your J button object, you have to obviously add it to your frame or panel. So in this case, a frame. And that's what we're doing here. So this would uh, give you this result. So a frame with uh, a button which has OK uh, written on it. So that's uh, the theory behind the J button object or the J button component. In the next step, we're going to see how to apply this to our interface that we've been using uh, up until now in the next in the previous couple of uh, videos. In this step, we're going to see how to add a button to our interface that we've been building up step by step in the previous couple of videos. So to add a button, you first need to um, import the J button class from the swing package, as we've done here. Uh, then we are creating a uh, class field uh, type J button that we're going to call login button. And then in our constructor at the bottom, we're going to uh, instanti instantiate a J button object using our field login button. And on that button, we want to display the following message, login, the following text, login. And then obviously we need to add uh, that uh, button, that J button object to our panel. And that's what we're doing here. So if we run the program, we should see the button that appears here, like so. So um, that's how you use the J button object in Java. For more information on uh, the J button class or, and, and what you can do with the button, uh, you can simply visit this link here on the uh, Oracle website.